Oh my god, it's so dark in here. Andrina, are you there? I'm here. Where are we even? I don't know. I can't see anything. <laughs> <laughs> Turn on the actual light. Okay. There you are. Yeah, Hello. your makeup looks good. Thank you. Considering you did it in the dark today. <laughs> Hello, everybody. It is Angina. And Rock'em Sakura. Welcome to a very new episode of Fashion Photo Review for Drag, Drag Race Philippines. <laughs> this week, the runway is First LED, Let There Be Light. Followed by your best drag. I'm excited for this for best drag, and I wanna look at the drag and say, that looks incredible, and that is so her. There's no excuse for you to have anything wrong, silhouette, or cinching wrong, or anything. Wrong. Nothing wrong, this right here. <laughs> Nothing like that is what I'm saying. For LED lights, I wanna make sure that it looks good in the dark as well as in the light. Does the light accent the outfit and make it better? So there's an opportunity for these queens to show two incredible looks. It's gonna be a battle. Two queens going home. There's a lot at stake right now. Oh my God, I'm freaking out. Angina's outfit is supposed to light up. Yeah, but, but it broke. And uh, this is the only LED I have. Let's start our back-to-back -back runway. Let there be light. First up, we have Eva La Queen. I love that eat here in the back, it's so cute. She's suggesting you eat there. Would you want to eat there? I'll take it to go. This outfit fits her really, really well. Very campy, very time period. I love a headpiece and I love that the diner lights up. Uh -huh. I love the silhouette of this. I love an A-line skirt that's poofy. Uh -huh. Definitely helps with not tucking. I also love this shoe that she's giving, this really high, tall platform stiletto with mm -hmm. a strappy that crisscrosses. I definitely think that the star of the whole lighted aspect of this costume is the diner mm -hmm. sign. I think there could be a little bit more lights. I love the fashion point of view because she took this 50s diner silhouette and made it with extra sexy pinup legs. It's cinched so tight in the middle and the skirt is so full that it's very flattering to her. And I also like that the skirt is short. Mm -hmm. Sometimes there's like the right and wrong place to end it. Yeah. And I feel like the way that it ended, like right above her middle thigh, yeah. is really, really cute. It looks big and full, but it doesn't cut off at the knee, so it doesn't make her legs look short. Yeah. I love the camp. I love the light up diner because, you know, I love a headpiece. I mean, not today, but, you know, <laughs> always. I love how fun it is. So I'm going to give it a toot. I'm going to give it a toot as well. Up next is Marina Summers. Ooh. I literally have goosebumps. This is so good. Wait, Very... I'm not even lying. Look at the hair. Gorge. Well, no, that hair, hair, the hair on my arm. It's all up because I have goosebumps. Oh my God, your hair is gorge on your arms too. <laughs> Shut up. I think it's very like avant-garde and I love the silhouette that she chose. I'm having a hard time discerning whether or not she's like a mushroom, a lampshade, lamp. or a shell underneath the water. Ooh, pearly shell! Pearly shell! <laughs> but the silhouette that she did choose was really interesting. I love the placement of the lights. It casts a shadow yeah. for her, and it looks yeah. really gorgeous. She looks super sophisticated. She looks rich, elegant. I love this lampshade mushroom clam <laughs> headpiece. I love the double mermaid. I love... Oh, the double mermaid oh. is such a fun touch. Because she could have stopped at one mermaid yeah, skirt and it like, would have been fine. Two. I love the detail that's off the shoulder with it wrapping around her. It is just like really sophisticated, really oh, beautiful incredibly. and really elegant. I love her silhouette. The fullness in the sleeves, the fullness in the skirt are so impeccably meticulous. Just how much they cinch off right here and at the bottom. Yeah, we, yeah, we're, yeah. I'm speechless. I'm it's so, so good. speechless. It's really, really good. It's a shoot for me. It's a shoot for me for Marina. Yay. Up next is Minty Fresh. When she comes out, it is intriguing to see the lights on her. Mm -hmm. I think that the whole silhouette is interesting. It kind of has elements of flapper meets Dracula, sexy, dark, burlesque. I wish that there was lights on this 
cover up. I think the light placement is a little bit interesting, but I feel like it didn't really tell a story with the lights. It's just kind of there in the middle. The lighter chains around the black bodice makes her look chunky. Yeah, the shape is kind of like trapezoidy. Mm -hmm. Right, instead of it like being more hourglass. She could have cinched herself with the lights and the lights could have been placed in an hourglass shape mm -hmm. so that when it was darker, it gave her more of an hourglass look and feel. I love this cover up. There's kind of like a darkness to it. Yeah. And then whatever these Mickey Mouse ears that she's wearing with like the rhinestone dangles that comes down from the side is also really cute and it feels like it's part of the entire presentation. I appreciate the lights by themselves, but I don't like the lights with the cover up. I don't think it looks bad, but I just wish it hit the mark more with the LEDs. I really do love the visual of the entire outfit. And her LEDs work. Shut up, shut up. I ran out of money. I'm gonna give this one a soft two. I'm gonna give this one a boot. Up next we have Precious Paula Nicole. Oh. Oh. Wow. Oh. Oh. Wow. Interesting. You could see the detail of the glitter on it when the light was even turned off. I like the silhouette of it. It was really cute. Very simple hourglass shape. It's high drag. It's drama. Mm -hmm. I love how intricate it is. That like shoulder piece and the way that it trickles down to the skirt piece. Love the detail and even the bodysuit. It's not just like white, it has like three-dimensional elements on it. I think it's really beautifully made as well. I love the cutouts and I also like the placements of the LED lights. I wish the LED lights had been a little bit stronger mm. so that it cast a little bit more of a silhouette on the whole entire outfit in general. And I do wish there had been some LED lights maybe in the front on the cutouts. The only thing I would change is I would have the sleeve go all the way down the hand, like a glove. Uh -huh. Because the way that it cuts off on the hand is a little bit jarring to me. It's a little bit too stark. Maybe if it went down in like a gauntlet and it like came down like from the middle finger. But overall, I think it's a great concept. I think she looks really good. I'm gonna have to give this one a two. It's a two for me too. Last but not least on the LED runway, we have silhouettes. I do like the shape of the hair. The makeup is absolutely gorgeous. The fabric is placed really well. This is actually a really cool outfit. It fits her very well. The draping is full. I love the little strong shoulders. I love the red boots with it. I love the print. But it's missing the LED for me. A stoplight? That's the only light on the outfit. Oh, and then she made her body like traffic. This is the same silhouette that she had last week. The fact that the only light on the outfit is that scepter yeah. is very disappointing to me. Right. There's not even any lights in the cars that are in the outfit Hell on yeah, her body. Be cool. She could have come out and then had the traffic light and then had headlights on her boobs. And yeah. it's like a car is coming. It's going past the red light. I also don't understand having the cape with this look. I get that it's supposed to be kind of like evil queen with a scepter maybe. If we're only seeing the LED on the scepter, then it's a bit of a miss. I'm gonna have to boot this look. I'm gonna give this a boot. All right, next runway is best drag. Hey! Please come in your best drag. First off is evil a queen. Mm. Damn! You know what? Evil Queen. Evil Queen. Very opulent. Love the double layer on the skirt. Her feathers look expensive. Mm -hmm. Her silhouette is really well crafted mm -hmm. because she has a giant silhouette on the bottom part of her outfit. And then the top part doesn't distract from the rest of the outfit at all. In fact, it really complements it in almost like a Valkyrie sort of sense. Mm -hmm. She looks painted the house down and the rest of the outfit is just so opulent. Great choice of gold. The gold all matches. She looks cinched. She did the thing with the gloves that I was talking about. She has it stopped oh, like this. in the middle of fingers. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Overall, I'm blown away by this. This is really high drag. The bodice cinches her body so well. The way that the feathers are attached to that bodice creates this like ombre moment. Mm -hmm. And I love that it cuts off from the gold of the bodice to the gold of the skirt. And the minute that she walked out, I literally was like her best drag, evil queen, play on her name. I might have to give this one a shoe. This one's a shoe for okay. me too. 
Up next, we have a Marina Summers. Ooh. Oh, oh golden. Oh, look at this headpiece. Oh. Wow. She does look very opulent, expensive. Yeah. That headpiece is absolutely gorgeous, very meticulously made. Each of the droplet stones are framed in like a circle. It's so visually interesting. The color accents her skin so yeah. well. I think that this is one of her best drags that she's worn here. I was hoping that I was gonna see like marina themed. Beach themed, something well, in Well, she that could nature. be like a golden sunset over the water. You're absolutely correct. The way that this outfit fits her is really nice. Mm -hmm. I love just the right amount of train. The high slit is really sexy. Mm -hmm. This headpiece is incredible. I'm gonna have to copy it, obviously. I love <laughs> this necklace. Very put together presentation. And I feel like I had a lot of strong emotions seeing it come down the runway. Mm -hmm. And it's just beautifully done. I'm gonna give this a two. I'm gonna give this one a two as well. Up next is Minty Fresh. Oh, oh ha, ha, ha. Me right off. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. her legs look gorge. Very showgirl. Her runways have all been very different, but one thing stays true is that she is a perfectionist. I could just tell. Yeah. From the way that she puts together her looks and from the way that she puts together her presentation. And this is so gorge. Her train and her headpiece are both feathers. It looks really expensive too. It blends into yeah. her hair really well. She's also showcasing a lot of her best assets, which is her amazingly snatched body, mm -hmm. great skin, her long legs, long arms, and her beat face. I definitely think this is up there with some of her best drag. But like, is this her brand? When I think of Minty, I think of contemporary. I think chic. It's a little bit aged backwards. It's more like opulent. I think I would have expected her something along the lines of like some of the fashion houses maybe. But I mean, this is really an incredible look, but I just was like, is this minty? Yeah, it's minty. It is very minty. I'm gonna give this one a toot. Toot. Up next we have Precious, Paula, Nicole's. Oh. Oh. Interesting. This is cool. She's like an amazing country star and she's about to take stage. Okay. And she's about to perform. Does the top go with the bottom? I think it does. I wish that the hat had a different shape and it was bigger. Mm. I wish that maybe it went more like this, a little bit more dramatic in its angle. Mm. And I wish it had been bigger because it looks a little small on her head, especially with her hair being so big, which I guess the hair was supposed to be a bit more of the star. Because the hat is that shape, it's not as cohesive with the bottom. I love how even it being different makes sense for it being together. Oh yeah. And I love the way that it's constructed. I also love that slit. I love how the corset was created using the same fabrication. So you can kind of see like a break. So it's not just like one big stripey fabric. Mm -hmm. Her hair looks beautiful. I love her earrings. I love the makeup. Mm -hmm. It's a two. It's gonna be a boot for me. Last but not least, we have Silhouettes. Oh, oh, she's the Pope Mary Jesus. Come on, dark Pope. She oh, does like dark themes, so this is very her. Yes. This is drama. Ah, look at the reveal. Oh, this was so on brand for Silhouette. Yes, Because it's, yes. it's punky, it has some like religious iconography in it too. Mm -hmm. Even though you knew there was gonna be a reveal, it didn't look like a reveal outfit because it was so perfect the way that it yeah. looked. Even if it was just that, to me, it was still very strong. And then she reveals into this. The work in this is so detailed. It fits her really amazing. I love the long, 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 long black hair. All of like the little straps on her hands, on her thighs. I even love like the ripped up pantyhose because it goes so well with like the overall theme. And this to me is like Silhouette. Yeah, this I is her can, personality yeah, house down. Yeah. It's very silhouette. It looks great on her. So it's going to be a two for me. This is a shoot for me. Trend, Trend alert. alert. Gold. Fluorescent beige. Opulence. <laughs> Rich. Glowing. Golden drama.
Our top two of the week is Eva Laqueen. She looks so good. Oh my God. Her personality really shined through and we were gagged when she walked out too. Yeah, it was very, very good. Oh my God, I can't believe we have just one more one fashion photo review. Are you sad? I'm so sad. Comment below how sad you are. I'm, every time <laughs> I see a bald person, I'm gonna think about you. You're gonna just be like, excuse me, do you wanna boot this lady with me? Excuse me, do you think she looks <laughs> ugly or not? <laughs> Toot or boot. Tune in Wednesday for the very last episode. You can watch it everywhere on Wow Presents Plus or in Canada, you can watch it on Crave. Are you a team someone by this? By this point, I'm not telling you guys. Mm -mm. That's what are you team? Wait, no. What are you team? We want to hear us. in the comments down below. You tell us. You tell us. Okay. Peace.